So I just wanted to do a quick video of kind of where I'm at. I've got a pr couple prints I want to show and also a little bit of a update on the CR10 uh, Bontech extruder that I put on there. Kind of where I'm at and where, where, where I'm going with it and uh, why I haven't really set a whole lot up to now. I'm Ron and uh, this is my place. Welcome back. So the first thing that I did was I did some prints earlier and it was funny because I kind of showed the, uh, you can see it back there, the uh, baby Groot. I showed it, the print to my sister and she didn't know what it was and it made me sad. <laughs> so then I had to print something that, you know, Maybe she would understand. So I went with a uh, minion, which I'm not a minion fan, but I printed a minion. This was printed on the Mark III with Maker Geeks uh, PTG Crystal Yellow, at 0.2 layer height, 15, or I think it was a standard 20% infill. Standard Slick 3R Prusa Edition. Turned out pretty good. I was I was happy. It printed. Uh, the only supports were up underneath. Um, let's see if I can get a little bit of. You can see there's a little bit of layer lines. Um, a little bit of through in here. You can see that was just from the uh, the different layer lines. But overall, it looks pretty decent. But you can see up underneath the up underneath here where the eyeballs are. That's where the support was um, because it printed and it was support. It looked like he was crying. Um, but anyway, the other thing I did. So that's Dominion. Uh, looked pretty good. A little tiny bit of stringing. As I had said earlier that uh, I wanted to print a little pedestal thingy to spin and rotate it. Um, printed pretty good. It's, it was printed two pieces, printed kind of flat like that. There we go. <laughs> and uh, then it just used a little, you know, finally have a reason to use these uh, bearings now that this fidget spinner thing's kind of dying out. And uh, just kind of snapped in there. Put that over the top and then it spins and it doesn't work awesome, <laughs> but... It does okay, I suppose. Um, little camera angle thing. So as long as I put it there, and I don't, you know, it's it's not bad. Maybe I'll figure out a way to motorize it. But <laughs> anyway, there was that. So pedestal thingy, rotating display piece, and a minion. Now the CR10. Bontech, I put the Bontech BMG on the CR10. The main driving force behind it was twofold. One was I was trying to get it something that would effectively print filament, uh, flex filament, and I knew this was going to be a bit of a challenge because it is a Bowden style. Um, and as you know, I put a Capricorn on it, um, didn't really help a lot. The Bontech is working okay there's a lot of downsides to it one of which is that it doesn't have any kind of quick release really i mean it has a small one it's but it's a spring and it doesn't really release the filament well so you're driving it all the way to the hot end and all the way back really by the motor um, on top of that it's because it's a geared ratio driven extruder it also makes your extruder motor run at a really high speed because um, it's three to one so getting the, for example, the extruder steps where it was printing before was around 265 or something like that. And I had to go up to over a thousand to get it to extrude right. And, you know, to get all the steps and everything correct. Um, so needless to say, when it's extruding, if you're trying to move it at like a higher speed, it's really moving higher speed. Um, so I'm messing with that. I, I still, the jury's out. There's two ways you can also put the Bontech. Um, 
which I'll, I'm going to do, I guess, a better video on it. But you can actually put it rotated in two different ways. But when you do it one way, you need to also remember to get this little adapter that goes in the end of what normally where the V6, E3 V6 would, would stick. And that's the adapter to allow you to feed through. You don't have to have it, but it just makes it a cleaner install. Um, and you can also rotate it around. Um, so anywho, that's, that's kind of where it's at. I got a decent print out of it. Um, I got a little bit of a decent flex out of it. Unfortunately, it was after it initially had died. It clogged the nozzle partially again, so I had to recover that. And then I slowed it way the heck down and really kind of got back to where I was at before. So it didn't truly help me at all. It, I'm still fighting the partial jamming and, and all that. And that was with zero retraction. Um, so anyways, I'm still working on it, still trying to figure it out. Uh, I think I'm getting really close to where I may just switch it over to a direct um, and then move into the Flexion and, and uh, mess with that as well. So anyways, long drawn out, apologize, kind of my thing, unfortunately, you know that. Um, I'll give you more updates as I get them. Somebody was asking, I just thought I would at least kind of throw it out there that it's not horrible, it's not terrible. It's doing exactly what it should. It's working fine. It's just not doing what I was hoping it would do. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. Thanks for watching. Hope you like Minions. If you do, I'll put a link to it. If you want a display thing, you can print one of these too. And maybe you'll not kill yourself like I keep trying to do. And uh, that's it. Print everything you can. Thanks for coming. Have a great day.